you guys. Welcome back to Storytime. Hi, it's Pastor Lori, the pastor from the Fairton and Newport United Methodist Churches. And I've got another story for us. Still doing our book, Courageous World Changers, Daring Women of God. And there's another one that's not well known, Ida Lewis. Ida Lewis. She is known as America's Bravest Woman. And I didn't know. Ida Lewis grew up in Rhode Island a Lighthouse. She was a strong swimmer and skilled at rowing small boats. She was only a teenager the first time she rescued someone from drowning. When she was 15, her father, Hosea Lewis, became wheelchair bound. That's when Ida began performing the duties at the lighthouse. Twice a day, she climbed a tall staircase, filled the lamps with oil, trimmed the wick, and polished the reflectors. One stormy night in March 1869, Ida's mother noticed a boat capsizing in the churning waves. She sent Ida and her younger brother out to help the struggling men. And one of them, seeing Ida, cried out in despair, it's only a girl. But he was wrong. She, it wasn't only a girl. She had already saved more than a dozen men from them stormy waters, and she saved that man's life too clutching onto his jacket and hauling him into the rowboat. Because of her many daring rescues, Ida was dubbed as America's bravest woman. And for her duty to the United States Lighthouse Service, she received many awards and honors. The president at the time, Ulysses Grant, <laughs> traveled to Rhode Island personally to thank her for her service. She was 63 years old when she dove into the waters to make her last rescue. She died six years later. Shy and modest, Ida never enjoyed any publicity. When someone asked her how she found the courage to do what she did, she replied, I don't know. I ain't particularly strong. The Lord Almighty gives me the strength when I need it. That's all. That's Ida Lewis. So I guess we can pray to be strong like her too. Because I ain't particularly strong either. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the life of Ida Lewis. We pray we can be strong like her. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, next week we're going to have a different story time. I'm going to talk about the next holiday coming up. Easter. So I hope you tune in next week. And I'll see you guys. Take care. I love you. Be good. Bye.